Hi, I'm Diego Goslowski, and this is Improving Open Data Accessibility Through Package Development and Community Work by myself, Discordia, Wexler, Rosati, Shokida, Vasquez, Bruce, Sayat, and Campitelli. The APH and Presentes packages were developed by members of the R user group in Buenos Aires, R and Baires, involving developers from many different backgrounds. The purpose of these packages is to improve the access to public information. It is an example of how strong regional communities can help development of packages and improve their access. The APH package has as a goal to facilitate the work of those R users that use the Argentinian Permanent Household Survey, which doesn't count with an official API. Some of its functionalities are data gathering, building data pools for cross-time analysis, organizing information for nomenclatures of occupation and economic activities, organize labels for the database, map the information by agglomerates, and replicate the official methodology for poverty and indigence. We aim to ease the work of those non-expert users so that they can focus on data analysis instead of those technical details. We also include warnings and detailed documentation for raising awareness on those things that may have an impact on their results. As a majority of the users of this survey come from Argentina or elsewhere in Latin America, and as a way to bring the R code towards our community, the documentation of the package is in Spanish. As an example of use, Shokida, Serpa, and Mode produce a regular report on gender inequalities in Argentina. The following figure was taken from this report and shows the sex composition of the sales of total individual income. The Presentes package includes the public data about victims of state terrorism during the last military dictatorship in Argentina. The extensive research made by the unique registry of state terrorism victims, Rute, and Memory Park in Argentina is not available in a database format. They show information about victims of illegal repression with and without legal claim and the clandestine detention centers. These data sets include many relevant personal information about the victim's origin, as well as the place and date of detention and discovery of their mortal remains. We also extended these clandestine detention center records with geolocalization obtained from their addresses. This figure shows the distribution of the clandestine detention centers using leaflet. I want to thank the doctoral training unit Driven for the funding.